Hey guys, welcome back to the Fool Show. Of course, I am Foolish Phil. Back to doing another video. Talk about Michigan's 93 to 84, 85 loss in overtime. And what can you say? This is a classic Iowa game where it was played on their tempo and not concerned about defense whatsoever. Michigan was able to stay in the game because Jet Howard was insane. He was on fire. He scored the first, I think, 14 points for Michigan. It's like just crazy, just like just started on fire. And he stayed pretty well lit for the first three fourths of the game. I would say when he sat down, maybe he was gassed at that point, I don't know what, but he sat down, Howard called a timeout and like did a rotation. And Michigan, he, he sat and then he did nothing the rest of the game. I mean, I don't know if he got cold or if uh, Coach Howard saw he was just getting tired and needed to rest him trying to get him some you know availability the last like five minutes of the game but when he came back in he just was a shell of him a shell of himself like you know you could tell he was just not there not the same player trying to be doing too much trying to go between double teams getting turnovers you know just taking terrible shots and again he's a freshman and he was called on to kind of lead and that brings me to the second point i mean jet played great you score 34 points and you lose. It's pretty bad. And I just got to point out, Hunter Dickinson was, I would say, trash tonight. Trash. I mean, again, he seems so lackadaisical. He'll, he'll, every so often he'll try. And then he looks good. But overall, it's just like, what, what is up with this guy? Because he doesn't put in the effort. And then, so he has like a double-double. But still, 12 points and 13 rebounds, I think it was. He had nine points in the first half. And when Jet Howard is cooled off the last 10, 11 minutes of the game, he gets one free throw. That's it. That's it. And he misses a one and one in overtime, too. Like, come on, Jet. Ugh, not Jet. Hunter, man. You're supposed to be like the senior, or at least upperclassman leader, and he and T. Will are just blah. He's just not passionate about it. And it's like. I've seen other people have responded on my blogs here or my YouTube videos about like he just looks like he's just you know can't checked out that like he's got nothing to play for and that's probably true because he knows he's not an NBA player he's just looking at playing in Europe and maybe he's thinking yeah well I'm, I'm a professional now I'm getting my NIL money if that's the case and it's like I'm just gonna go through the motions here enjoy it I don't know. So, like, you know, I, I know I didn't make a video after Michigan State game. I had a Christmas party to go to, and then it was, like, you know, super football, and I'm like, no one's going to watch anyways. But it's like, the first shot, he hit the first shot in that game, and then that was it. Like, for the next 30 minutes, he did nothing until the game was over. Then he started doing stuff again. Again, here, just focusing on this game. 12 points, 13 rebounds, great. That'd be great for your, like, you know, freshman center like Terrace Reed to get that would be great I mean epic another thing I gotta say too I did not understand nor see at all what the TV announcers were loving about having Reed and Hunter out there at the same time I saw nothing productive all I saw was Terrace Reed just getting couldn't handle passes I saw Hunter Dickinson being extremely passive I don't understand why we were doing that I mean as I, I can see it being a mismatch but Michigan wasn't taking advantage of that I think, again, this goes back to Coach Howard. I don't know what we were doing. Like, uh, Cheddar, he had his shots. Baker hit his shots. Why were those guys not playing? And why was T. Will playing at all? He had, like, five points. He had one shot in, you know, overtime. Okay, but it's like, what, what, why? He's got a brace or a wrap on his wrist. Why is he playing? Play Baker instead. I mean, T. Will and Reed just get fouls picked up on them. Boom, 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 boom. Fouls all over the place. At least Reed, I'll give Reed props. He's a freshman. He made some good defensive plays. He was trying to guard Murray. He got a steal on him. Ugh. It's just a game. This is, again, a game where Michigan just shoots itself in the foot, blows a chance to get a good, good win, and loses. Just like Virginia. Just like North Carolina. Just like all these other games that woulda, coulda, shoulda, and they lose. And it sucks. It's just annoying that Michigan can't close out the games. All of a sudden, Buffkin just goes completely dumb dumb and fouls on a three pointers to give a four point play. The last thing you do with under a minute to go, thirty seconds to go, is why are you even fouling? Why are you that close to him? You're just begging the ref to call it. And of course the guy puts his feet way out, but you're not gonna get that call. 
I gotta give props to the Iowa fans. They're up screaming and everything. Uh, even the people right on the court are like up and screaming at the refs the whole game. So that's gonna impact the refs. The refs are human. And you know what? When you get people yelling at you the whole game, you're gonna be more likely you want them to cheer. So I'm not surprised that they called that foul. Bufkin's gotta be smarter than that. You can't be late and try to make a play. What you happen? You got a four point play. At worst, you should have been up by one with the ball with 30 seconds to go. And they would be following you, and then you do the free throw thing. No, instead, idiot fouls them. Ugh. <sighs> Just another loss. Another loss on this terrible trash season that's laying ahead of us. Just when you think Michigan is going to do something. You think they might come back and, like, pull out a, you know, a surprise win on the road at Michigan State. Nah. They shoot, like, just complete garbage, right? And then in the second half, they can't pull back. Here, they shoot great, and then what happens? Their offense goes to junk for chunks of the second half. They had at least nine turnovers in the second half. I don't know how many they had in overtime, but nine turnovers in the second half. Nine. And they were so careless. Just Hunter passing to Reed. Hunter trying to dribble down, dribbles off his leg. Hunter this, Hunter. Hunter played like trash. It's so annoying for your junior leadership center to be like this crappy it's so i know yeah 12 points and 13 rebounds looks great it wasn't it wasn't great Ugh, just the effort's not there it's so disappointing overtime michigan finally gets a stop three pointer three wolverines there and the ball hits the rim twice okay so but then iowa comes in and gets the rebound and drains another 20 seconds off the clock <sighs> I really enjoyed Michigan's 13-0 football season much more than watching this trash basketball. That's the thing with Michigan right now. They have good potential. They have talent. But they just can't complete anything. They just can't. It's like they just can't get out of their own way. They find a way to lose games that they have a chance to win. They find a way to lose them. All of a sudden, this Schroeder guy, if that's how you name his name, no, Sanford, Sanford, all of a sudden, he explodes for like 20, 20, over 20 points in the second half. I think he had two points in the first half. Murray got his 27, I think it was, yeah. But this Sanford guy gets 26 points in the game. Like, man, no one can stop him. No one. Just all the breaks. It's crazy. <sighs> Whereas, you know, and you're hoping someone can pick up when Jet Howard got tired. Didn't happen. Hunter, complete shell, does nothing offensively. Then Buffkin just had a rough game, fouls out, picks up the dumb foul with under 30 seconds to go, did a four-point play, just stupid there. Just like, he had the turnover before that, too, where he steps out on the baseline. Like, man, you got to play better than that. Yeah. <sighs> frustrating, disappointing, but this is what it's going to be. It's just going to be a trash, frustrating season for Michigan. And it really brings the question again. Right or wrong, what does it say about Jawan Howard as coach? He went to the, I don't know how far they went in the first year when he had B-Lines guys. Then the next year he had B-Lines guys again. Like So I think it was like Elite Eight. Then like, you know, Sweet 16 in the last year. I don't know if it's two or three year run now. Of course he won the Big Ten title with B-Lines guys. So it's like, now with his most of his guys outside of Hunter and T-Will, with most of his guys, I'm not sure Michigan's even in NIT. In IT team, so it makes you just kind of look at Howard and like, you know, what's what is this? You know, is it just a blip in the pan? Uh, is Michigan going to be better next year? Let's see. I'm I, I'm not assuming he's going to get fired this year. Don't get me don't me don't let me lead you that way. But it's just don't don't see those plays, those coaching moves that are really helping the team win. I don't know what you would really want to pull up with three seconds to go in the game to win the shot, but you're a true freshman going in for a layup when he's gotten just smucked a couple times going for layups is probably not the best option. I'd much rather have him to pulled up and done a floater or something instead, but of course that's a true freshman. You're not going into your senior, your junior um, big man because he's not aggressive. He's just passive. He's looking to pass the ball instead of no shooting. So it's disappointing that way. <sighs> a little vent, a little frustration. 
What do you guys think after Michigan's another loss where Michigan had the game and blew it? Credit to Iowa. They scored more points. Michigan just here. Do you want the game? Do you, do you want the game? We're not going to do anything for the last like three or four minutes of consequence. Do you want to come back and win the game? There you go. Uh, well, thanks so much for listening to my vent, my rant. If you have any thoughts, please put them in the box below. I'll try to respond as I'm able to. Until I see you guys next time, as always, I mean, I guess the rest of the year I'll be watching this basketball. Hopefully there won't be such trash every week. Until then, as always, go blue.